first came disaster. Now for some deep east Texas comes for some deep east Texans comes the hardest part that is cleaning up and rebuilding after all of the flooding and Polk County residents are assessing the damage for the first time and salvaging what they can. KTRE's Vanessa Johnson spoke to a couple of residents who live in Schultz Creek to see how they are managing. Residents in Polk County are in recovery mode, cleaning their homes and saving any items they can. Haley Crew, a Livingston resident, says she was woken up out of her sleep early Monday morning. A neighbor called me about 3 3:20 in the morning and said, "Hey, your car's floating." So I was like, "You know, you're playing. You're messing with me." <laughs> and uh, I walked outside, and she's like, "I was like, no, she's not." Crew says the storm that happened last Sunday affected her car. However, Wednesday night storm went inside of the home. Lost everything, you know, except for the clothes that were hanging up and the top dresser drawers. My daughter lost her everything in her room, all her toys. I'm just kind of in shock still. I have my moments where I just ball for hours <laughs> and then I have my moments where I'm OK. Bridget Jordan, who also lives along the creek, says the water was about two feet from their home. While their house was safe, their cars were not. I was like, oh crap, and I just cried. You can't just be like, okay, tomorrow I'm gonna go get a new car, or you know, I'll just fix it all later. Like, it was so much at one time. She says after Wednesday's storm, only the hoods of the cars were visible. They have since removed the vehicles and are borrowing a truck from family. But right now it's just trying to get back up there. Cruz landlord has helped her and her daughter move into another house. She has also received a few donations from family, friends and community members. At the end of the day, we're still here. We're still alive. Vanessa Johnson, KTRE East Texas News 9.